What's the first thing that you think of when you hear the term RGB? Because it's everywhere. People love RGB for some reasons, some people hate it for other reasons. Um, and if you were to take a few steps back a few years ago, gaming companies started implementing RGB in their gaming peripherals. So gaming keyboards had that, gaming mice had that, and now we're slowly starting to see gaming headsets adapting that feature, which I think is pointless because when you're wearing an RGB gaming headset, you're really not noticing what's going on because you're so focused on the gameplay. But I think, in my opinion, that's just a marketing strategy. But why is it so important? Why are people embracing RGB? Why is it a must-have feature in a gaming peripheral or gaming mouse or perhaps even a GPU or a motherboard? It's pretty straightforward because people want to color coordinate their setup to a particular color scheme. So in my case, I love the color blue. I love to have a blue themed setup, but sometimes I'd like to change things here and there depending on my mood and I want to set it with my own color scheme. So there are a few lighting effects that you can take advantage of with RGB if you have that implementation. Now we're slowly starting to see case manufacturers take advantage of that. And that's awesome because um, when you have case lighting inside built into the case, you can take advantage of its lighting effects through software and you can control those lighting effects through software. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been working with for the past few days. And you can sort of take a look at it behind me right there. This is the Noctis 450 ROG from the folks over at NZXT. Now I know what you're thinking. Wasn't this case around a few years back? Yes, you are right. And in fact, Dimitri has taken an in-depth look at the case, so I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in the full review. This case is a little different from its older brother because NZXT has collaborated with ROG to emphasize the RGB lighting compatibility with ASUS's Aura Sync, and I'll get to that shortly. It's also geared towards users who have picked up an ROG motherboard, an ROG GPU, uh, to build an ROG-based gaming PC. And I just can't believe I said ROG more than two times. But uh, regardless, let's dive in right after this. Creativity is fueled by the best instruments. It doesn't always come easy, and in the process, you often realize how important quality is. The RD400 by OCZ gives you quality and speed with M.2 interface, Toshiba NAND flash, and a PCI bracket, making it possible to focus on what matters. Invest in storage that makes a difference with a five-year advanced warranty. All right, let's address the price point of the Noctis 450 ROG because it does not come cheap. Priced at $180, it competes against the Fantex Evolve ATX TG, the 570X from Corsair, the Master Case Maker 5 from Cooler Master, and a few more. So what makes this case stand out from the competition? Well, there's the ROG branding with the subtle aggressive design elements on the side panels. The exterior has received a gun grade finish complementing a gun grade themed motherboard. And I'll admit, the Noctis 450 was originally designed to go hand-in-hand -hand as an ROG-exclusive gaming PC. I mean, just look at it. Everything from the angular front and top panels to the aggressive vents for proper airflow describes NZXT's love for ROG. Now, to make things even better, this case features Aura Sync RGB lighting technology. What that means is that there's basically RGB lighting everywhere, and I mean everywhere, and that is software controllable, including the underglow, the two LED strips inside the chassis, one at the top and one at the bottom. The logo engraved into the power supply shroud and the power button has also received this treatment. I have to admit, the attention to detail in terms of lighting has not been compromised, and I appreciate NZXT for setting that standard. And that's the main selling point for the Noctis 450 ROG. Aura Sync allows all the LEDs to display the exact same color. Literally, exact color coordination since it comes from one source, which is the motherboard. There is something that I'd love NZXT to address in their next revision, and that is the GPU compatibility. For example, I used the Strix RX480 to test the Aura compatibility, and to my surprise, the included hard drive bracket got in the way when mounting this card. Obviously, eliminating that solved the issue, but if you're planning to take advantage of all six drive bays, you might be disappointed. The rest of the components were thrown in for aesthetic purposes. For example, the mighty Kraken X62 was mounted on top of the 1700X to showcase that gorgeous Infinity Edge display. Speaking of the 1700X, I'm currently in the process of switching over to it as my primary rendering workhorse, so I'm super excited for that, and stay tuned for that video for the benchmarks. The ROG Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard was an excellent fit for the case because it features two 12 volt RGB headers, one of which gets populated by the 4-pin RGB cable for the case lighting, and it works fantastic. 
The Dominator Special Edition Memory Kit from Corsair adds a little bit of character to the build, showcasing the white LEDs. But if you're serious about color coordination, G-Skill's Trident Z RGB memory would be an excellent fit, as not only it looks sexy AF, but it's Aura Sync compatible as well. Taking a look at the software, it's fairly simple and intuitive to control lighting. In my case, I'm greeted with various lighting effects tabs like static, breathing, color cycle, rainbow, comet, flash and dash, which sounds ridiculous, strobing, option for the LEDs to react according to system temperature and music. Each can be set to either synchronize across components or set individually, including the PCH, the strips, and the GPU. I wish there was brightness control options to slightly tone down the color, but perhaps we could expect that in a firmware update. Well guys, there you have it, a simple and short showcase video featuring the uh, NZXT Noctis 450 ROG. I was definitely excited when this case showed up in the studio because I had the right components lying around uh, to take advantage of the lighting capabilities with Aura. Um, the ROG Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard was a beast, uh, and it's a great foundation if you're looking to build uh, an X370 based high-end Ryzen gaming system. Uh, the other components were sort of hand-picked, the memory was just lying around, but it looked pretty cool. The Corsair memory just looked fantastic, and also blends in really well with the setup. Um, but I did have a small wish, I did wish for something that NZXT could work on in the future, and that is support for their new AIO coolers to take advantage of the Aura lighting capabilities, because uh, I've used the X62, or I've currently used the X62 to cool the 1700X inside that case, um, and the only way to control lighting is through cam software. But maybe ASUS and NZXT can work uh, some way to sort of link both those softwares so we can uh, synchronize the lighting effects uh, throughout the entire uh, systems or the components. So I think that would be pretty awesome. But it's also challenging. But I want to hear your guys, uh, or I want to hear your thoughts about this build or this case. What do you guys think about it? Are you sold on the whole RGB thing? Uh, plus, what are your thoughts on Aura capabilities? Leave a comment down below. I'm Ebro with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, hey there. NCIX.com is Canada's leading e-tailer for anything your mind desires. Just keep within those categories, which are plenty, and get tempted by the weekly deals. Visit NCIX.com for all them sweet deals.